In this video, we're going to talk about the DMA, our device management agents, and Deployment Pro. The DMA is the centralized agent that we're going to use to run two products on the local devices um, of your project. And those two products are HealthCheck for Office 365 and Deployment Pro. HealthCheck for Office 365 is going to see if the device that you want to use to connect to Office 365 has all the necessary requirements filled in. And Deployment Pro is the Outlook reconfiguration tool. With Deployment Pro, we're going to reconfigure a new profile to Office 365 while maintaining the same settings like autocompletes, PST connections, and signatures, and at the same time, make sure that you are connecting to Office 365 remotely. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new customer. Click on Add Customer. And I'm just going to add a domain that we're going to use to do the migration. I'm going to call it Demo. And that's about it. So here we have that customer. The first thing that we need to do is deploy the DMA on the different workstations. So we go into device management and there's two ways to uh, deploy the agent. The first one is through group policies. That is a seamless integration with the active directory. Um, end users are not going to see anything. You just install, install it silently, or you can do it through email. And at that point, the only thing you need to have is to add a user, which I'm going to do here real quick. In most cases, people will choose to do it through um, group policies. Um, in my case, because it's only one user, I'm going to use the email procedure. Um, but what uh, selection you make, that's uh, based on your uh, preference. Enable device management through agent. We can send this email. We can customize this email. Send the agent's email. Need to enter this. Send agent email. Now an email is being sent to this specific device. And then we're going to switch over to the local device to see how the DMA is installed. Currently, we're on the device where we received the email to install the desktop management agent. Again, if you chose to use group policy options to, do, to install this DMA, then of course, this is not going to happen. This is only when you ask people to install it through email. So click on the link. run it. So now you get a notification that the device management is installing. And that's the only thing they need to do. Now we're back in MSP complete where we can see that the agent has communicated back to our backend and made a connection with this specific user. Next thing that we can go is into the device management and that we do by click on manage, then device management. And you're going to see the two applications I talked about in the beginning, HealthCheck for Office 365 and Deployment Pro. With HealthCheck for Office 365, you're going to see that the surface I installed the agent on is coming back as fully compatible with Office 365. If you want to see the details, just click on the pie chart and that is going to tell you in depth what is compatible and if there would be an incompatibility what is exactly the reason of this incompatibility that way you can remediate it before the migration once you've done with that you can actually go 
into your migration, do the migration, and after the migration, you can use the Deployment Pro to reconfigure the Outlook profile to make a connection into Office 365. The first thing that we need to do with the Deployment Pro is configure it. So I'm adding the domain. I'm selecting the endpoint. Normally when you're doing a migration, this Office 365 endpoint um, should already be there. So you can just select it. You can also do this for an Exchange on-prem. Deployment Pro is compatible with Exchange on-prem as well. But in this case, we're going to do an Office 365 endpoint. We can configure the way that a Deployment Pro interacts with the end user. Um, when something pops up for the end user and it looks something weird, they might not be trusting the application to do something with it. The way that you can go around it is reconfigure Deployment Pro to visualize any type of logo ad that you want. So in this case, I'm uploading the logo of the company that we're migrating and their tagline is your ticket to the cloud. So we add that as well, add the logo. Save and continue. And now we can schedule the cutover of the Outlook profile. So we select the user, we click on run module, and now we can say when the cutover of the Outlook profile needs to be done. So you can schedule that ahead of time so it picks up whenever it needs to pick up. Now we're going to do it immediately. So I'm going to click on run module. And what you're going to see now that it's scheduled. Once on the client device, Deployment Pro kicks in, you're going to see that it's running. And if there's an error, you're going to see here that an error uh, occurs if it's completed without errors it will actually add here to the depleted so let's go back to the client device to see how the deployment pro interaction with the end user happens Okay, so we're back at our local device and what we see here is that the Plumber Pro has uh, popped up. And as you saw in the previous part of the video, we configured it so that the logo would appear. Um, next thing that we're going to do is create a new profile. So the end user just clicks on next. And the first thing they need to do is just provide their password. And we're going to validate the password first before we do anything else. So the credentials are good. Now we can start the configuration. When we click on the configuration, it says, hey, just be aware, Outlook is open, Skype for Business is open. We have to close these applications. So we just click on the close applications now. And now automatically it continues in the configuration. This is going to take a few minutes. Um, but pretty much what's uh, what's going to happen now is there's going to be a copy of the profile. The original profile is created. All the information going into Office 365 is provided. And also the signatures, any connections to PSTs, autocompletes, that kind of stuff is also copied over in the new profile. So we've gone through all the different steps. Now we're ready. We click on finish and now Outlook is going to open with the new profile pointing to Office 365. So it's a brand new profile. So it's not a change of the original profile. So in case something would go wrong, we can always fall back on the original profile. New profile is loaded in, other completes are provided. The signature is provided. Any PSTs connections are uh, attached as well and the new mailbox will be loaded into the Outlook profile. The only thing we need to do is to wait um, until Outlook is done preparing the Outlook profile for first use, and then we should be ready to go. So the profile is completely opened. Um, let's test if the other completes are there. So when I click on an A, I get all the information that was available in um, the other completes. 
And we can also see if the signatures are there. So the signature that I had in my old profile is here as well. So all the information is here and your end users are ready to use um, their Outlook client that is completely configured for Office 365. So we're back in our Deployment Pro module within the device management and you can see as you could also see on the local device that Deployment Pro has gone through the whole cycle but in MSP Complete you can now see that it's completed as well. So when the completion happened in Deployment Pro on the local device it was sent back so as a partner you could actually keep track of the cutover of their profiles just using this dashboard.